Okay, I'm going to be trying a beer that I've been searching for a while to get. Um, I recently went on Beers of Europe and found out they had it in stock. It's always been out of stock, so, and I can never find it in any of my supermarkets. It's from Adnams, who are a really good brewery. Um, I don't think I've had a beer from them that I didn't like, um, but that's pretty good for me. And this is their American style IPA. I've given it a bit of a chill because I do like my IPAs cold. But let's give you some info on it. Um, I was a bit cheeky actually. I went on Twitter and I mentioned to Adnams that I was going to be reviewing a few of their beers. And um, I said, have you got one of those glasses? Because they do, they do these really nice glasses with the um, etching at the bottom. And um, lo and behold, I got one today in the post. So, nice. I haven't, I haven't got too many glasses. I need to sort of build up my collection. But this is one I've been after. So I'm really happy with that. So thank you very much. Um, Magical person at Adnams who sends the glasses. Right, let's see. Let's give you an idea of this beer. It says, um, "Okay, duh, 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 duh. Adnams Southwold IPA comes in at six point eight percent." And uh, it says on the front, "I think America's take on the original English India Pale Ale is the most successful. I love the smell of hops, and an American IPA is a showcase for citrus hops. They are big, but big and bold." Some might say brash, but to my mind, at least beautiful. Um, that's from the master brewer, Ferg is that Fergus? But yeah, that's a really nice label, that. look at that. That's really pretty. I like that. Okay, 6.8%. Um, I've got a feeling this might be very similar to the um, Southwold's IPA they do in um, Marks and Spencer's at the moment. There's a winter IPA. Which is really nice. I really need to review it, but I'll just keep drinking it as soon as I get it because it's so lovely. And if it tastes like this, then, or if this tastes like that, should I say, then that's going to be great. Okay. Okay, looking nice and lovely in the glass. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice golden uh, toffee colour. Look at the head. That's just a really nice off-white head. I was expecting it to be pretty bright, but that's almost like a, an eggshell or, or a slight tanned head. Um, it looks really, really pretty in the glass. Let's just get the nose on it. Come on. Not as hoppy as I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm getting some nice sort of sweet malts. Um, a little bit of um, maybe like a a ruby red grapefruit, uh, a bit of orange. Almost like a creamy smell as well. Um, I'm not getting too much on the nose, so I'm just going to go for the taste. Cheers, guys. Oh, that is good. <laughs> I just love the bitterness, it just keeps creeping up on you. That is really, really nice. <clears throat> oh, it's got some lovely sweetness at the beginning as well. It reminds me a lot of the, um, the Northwest Pacific IPAs. You're getting some nice sort of Juicy, fruity, sweet malts at the beginning. Um, almost like a blood orange. Um, and that sort of nice, overly ripe grapefruit. Not too um, astringent or, you know, too bitter. Just lovely and fruity. And then you get this very clean, uh, first quenching body to the whole thing, which... Um, uh, which then all this sweetness, all this sweetness fades, and then you get this lovely sort of bitterness, which doesn't really creep up. It almost, it's almost like um, it bobs up and down. Because if you notice at the beginning when I was drinking it, um, as I finished, I went to take another bit, but then the bitterness came back again. I was like, "Oh, hang on a minute!" And then it went, and then it came back, then it went. So I've still got a little bit on my tongue now, but this is really beautiful and refreshing. That is really, really nice. Really, really, really impressed with that. Um, 
I was expecting it to be... <sighs> Sorry, that bit endless, I love it. I was, I was expecting it to be good, but I wasn't expecting it to be great. And that's what this is. It's really, really nice. Um, Beers of Europe are selling this if you can't get it in your supermarket. If you can get it in your supermarket, you're a lucky bastard because I can't. Um, I think it's about £1.90 or two quid a bottle, which is a bloody bargain because it's a it's a really good IPA. Um, get it, that's it really. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. That is a really nice IPA. I'm well happy with that. Um, it's not the greatest IPA I've ever had in my life. But because it's so affordable and it's and it's easy for me to get now, that's why it gets a 9. And plus it's a really great IPA. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers!